Hello, this is Sean Mullery from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo and what I'm going to show in this lesson is how to use uh, malloc with the scanf function. Uh, so if we want to take in information from the user, how do we then determine what size is that information so that we can determine the right amount to allocate. So I'm going to stick with the same program as you as we did in the last video when we first showed malloc, which of course built on the uh, structure programs from previously. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, is for the scanf is that rather than putting in the name Sean here um, a, via a string copy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a temporary character array or temporary string. Uh, I'll call it string even though it's still a, a character array or whatever. And I'll give it a good large piece of space. Now, this seems a bit counterproductive that we're trying to save a bit of space on the 20 bytes that we had previously by doing dynamic memory allocation. And um, and then I'm giving 50 to this. But the idea would be that uh, we might have a database system where we would have hundreds of employees and I only need one temporary string to use. Um, so it's not using up a huge amount of space in that way. Um, so that's the plan for this. Um, but I just want to show it to you for one example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a printf and I'm going to say um, please enter the first name. And I'm only going to do this with the first name and then I'll leave it as an exercise for you. You can try it and do it for the other names and so on. and uh, percent s we're taking in percent s and i'm going to put that into the um temp string and um for malloc here instead of string length sean i'm going to say string length temp string now the important point here about using the string length function in this particular case is that it will only um, count up to the null termination character that it finds. So it will only take um, the number of bytes there. It won't uh, give 50 as an answer. If I um, if I in some way uh, actually measured the full 50, then there would be absolutely no point to this because I would be making 50 um, bytes available for first name even though I only need the few. Okay. Finally, then what I do is I do a string copy of um, over to first name from temp string. And the point is then I can then reuse temp string as often as I want again uh, to put something else into it. Okay. So we'll give that a go and see uh, has it worked. Um, and just to test this, I'll, uh, I'll say Michael. Okay, so we can now see that, see that the employee name is Michael Mullery, but it's put in all the other information that we had in previously. So that's just the scanf being used um, to decide how many bytes uh, that we need for that. And remember, now that I've changed it from Sean to Michael, I would need three more bytes and uh, it makes it available to us by doing that. Okay, so that's how, you, how you'd use the, the scanf uh, in that particular case. And I'm going to uh, leave the video at that.